For handicappers, the distance of the Belmont Stakes represents the unknown. Fans never know if a horse will have success at a mile and a half until the field lines up and runs the race. Going into the 2014 Belmont, California Chrome sat on the cusp of a triple crown. Many experts question whether or not one of his main rivals, Tonalist, a son of Tappet, could find success at the mile and a half distance. But in the final furlong, Tonalist answered that question for himself and his sire. Tonalist between horses, California Chrome laboring late. Here's the wire, and it's a photo finish that goes to Tonalist. Tonalist's win kicked off one of the most remarkable streaks we've seen in the Belmont Stakes. In 2015, Frosted, another son of Tappet, ran second behind Bob Baffert's American Pharaoh. And following that, in back-to-back -back years, Tappet sired runners won back-to-back -back Belmonts. Destin and Creator, these two come down to the line together! Creator, it is Tappet and Jose Ortiz in the Belmont Stakes! This year, Tappet is represented by the lightly raced but highly regarded Kentucky Derby 7th place finisher, Hofberg. And Tappet shows up as the broodmare sire of Restoring Hope and Tenfold. Interestingly, Tenfold is sired by Curlin. And although Curlin didn't win the Belmont, he ran huge in defeat and emerged from that Triple Crown season as the class of his generation. Cracks to riches and Curlin, they're coming down to the wire. It's going to be very close. Curlin is the sire of last year's Belmont runner-up, Irish War Cry, and 2013 Belmont Stakes winner, Palace Malice. Curlin may not have had quite the success as a sire in the Belmont as Tappet, but it's hard to deny that his progeny have made an impression on the race. In addition to tenfold, Curlin is also represented by Vino Rosso, who will be ridden by John Velasquez. Velasquez found his own Belmont success in 2007 with Rags to Riches and in 2012 aboard Union Rags. Painter, Union Rags has got him! Union Rags in the Belmont Stakes! And Union Rags is the sire of Dale Roman's trained late-running colt, Free Drop Billy. Sure, Justify looms large over his Belmont competition. However, until they run the mile and a half around the sweeping turns of Big Sandy, it's safe to say that a case can be made that several of the horses in the race have a chance to jump up and surprise us all.